Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create login and registration system using a role, user role. So here you can see you have a project here and this is called test Lara. So this is a Laravel project and I have opened here CMD and I have run the server. So now I can actually open the project. But before that, I need to start Apache and MySQL, these servers, okay? So let's go to the browser. And here I'm going to say that localhost colon 8000. Here you can see there is nothing. There is no login and registration system yet. So we are going to apply here login and registration system using Laravel Breeze. So Laravel Breeze is starter kit and you can find it. Just you have to search it Laravel Breeze. Okay. Uh, login and registration system or install and you will find first link here you can see just go there and you just have to actually copy and paste some comments from here you can see composer equal laravel slash breeze depth so just copy it and go for the cmd so in the project directory if you click here in the address bar and type here cmd it will open command prompt for us and if I say here, right click on your mouse, okay, or if you are using touchpad, just paste with two finger, okay. So it will actually paste the command. And here you can see composer equal laravel slash breeze hyphen hyphen dev. Press enter. Okay, done. Now we have to go a little bit down, and here you can see PHP artisan breeze install. So you just have to copy this line. okay then go for it uh not like this you know this one and here you just have to paste it and here you can see blade with alpine so go with the blade and would you like to uh, support dark mode you may say here yes and zero And now, uh, before the migration, so this is for the migration. Uh, now, if I go to the database through localhost slash PHP my admin, here you can see we have the database. So we already get the database when we actually create the project, we have actually migrated, right? So now, if I migrate it using this command, it will actually do nothing i mean it will uh, not migrate or i mean it will migrate nothing right so if i go for it you can see nothing to migrate so if i go to the database in the users table here you can see there is no user type right if i go to the structure here you can see we have id name email password but there is no user type so what i'm going to do is now i'm going to roll back this because we have no data if you have data, you may actually add or insert column, okay? To insert column, you have to actually create, uh, you know, a separate file for this. And that will be for the migration file, okay? You have to create separate migration file for this. So, let me open this project in a code editor. In this case, I'm going to use Visual Studio Code. So, let's open it. And here I have already the project test Lara. And if I go to the database, here you can see database, then migrations. Here you will find the user stable. Uh, here, user stable. And here you can see we have name, email, and everything. So here you can actually add directly column from here. You have to create another migration file for those uh, for, for the column. Okay. And then you can add it. But I'm not going to do this because I have no data, right? So why should I do this? Right. So what I'm going to do is. I'm going to say PHP artisan rollback. I mean, I want to delete and once again, I want to add this in the database. So if I say here PHP artisan migration, okay, colon rollback. Uh, sorry, it will be PHP artisan migrate colon rollback, okay, rollback. 
and here you can see all the column actually and all the table and all the data has been deleted if i go here if i refresh now here you will find nothing except migrations so now we are going to add once again so let's go to the code editor here and here we are going to say that okay now i want to add here user type after password okay so i'm going to copy this line copy this go to the next line paste it here i'm going to say user type user type and i want to set here default value let's say i can have multiple user right so i'm going to set here a default value and the value should be user i mean everyone which will be logged in i mean they will logged in as user so this is the default value so now everyone who actually want to okay let me uh, let me show you one thing is uh, if I refresh here now you can see we have login and registration button here let's just wait for some time so, okay so the problem is we have actually delete the table right that's why it's showing this error but let's go with the table at first so I'm going to migrate it but before the migration uh, here you can see our every single user will be registered as normal user from the database we can change the user type let's say I can have multiple user right I can have admin and then a normal user and then some other uh, you know type so the default type would be user now if i go for the migration if i say here php artisan ingrate now it's migrated successfully now if i refresh here it will work here you can see we have we got the login and registration so now uh, if i go to the database also and if i refresh here here you can see we have users but now if i go to the structure we have user type so now if i go for the registration let's say i'll go for the registration and here you can see we have name so let's say tanvir email tanvir at gmail.com password let's say one two three confirm password one two three maybe we should give here eight character right yeah so two four six eight we have to do this otherwise it will show us error so two four six eight go for the registration here you can see I haven't actually selected any type here, right? But it may move this. But if I refresh here, uh, the type automatically will be user, right? So the default type is user. We have set here. Here you can see. And now let's say I want to change from here. Uh, you know, I mean from here. Okay. So let's say I want admin. So let me log out and go for the registration once again. So I'll go for the registration. And here I'm going to say, let's say yummy yamin at gmail.com password let's say two four six eight two four six eight go for the registration and here if i refresh you can see that yummy is also registered as user but let's say now i want to change yamin to admin if i enter now yamin is admin here you can see so from here we can actually change the user type but we can actually add user type column like this and the default value also here you can see so i hope you understand so that's it guys i hope you understand thank you so much for watching this video